At this present time, we live in a period which will not be noted in future history, because there will be none. Anything relating to the past will not only be rewritten, but will be continuously rewritten to the extent that major historical occurrences will be nothing but oddities and footnotes, and indeed we are seeing this today. People who were once renowned for having a concise long-term memory are now being called mad, and those with a very short-term memory are now called intelligent and progressive. And the arrogance and pride they show in their narcissism, stupidity and ignorance is now called evolution. Good and evil are no longer two distinct judgments upheld by all because now people no longer believe there is an objective good and only see evil as subjective. What is true to you is true to you, and what is true to me is true to me. This is the motto of mankind today. And what is true to you in any particular scenario can change several times in a short time period because such judgments are not based on facts, because with short-term memory and attention span, fact becomes irrelevant. So today, truth is based on feelings. Today, you can hold two diametrically opposed beliefs simultaneously as being true, and non-contradictory and you will be held to be progressive, evolutionary and intellectual and even a genius because of your feelings at the time. The only truth that is self-evident from this is people make mistakes a bad judgment as a result from their feelings. Nothing is true, all is permitted. So said Hassan of Alamut. And even though he said this a thousand years ago, he has accurately described today. The only evolution that can be proved and has been observed is actually the devolution of language and logic, and this is because the true meanings of words and concepts have been and will continuously be redefined and rewritten. In the rewriting of history, we no longer get facts which came from a specific event, or specific time, but rather a series of events or times which led up to and surpassed the actual event. You no longer get facts that came from a specific event, but you get feelings on issues that led up to and surpassed the event. These are feelings of people who may hold opposing 
views to each other and within themselves. The lunatics are indeed running the asylum. Criminals and celebrities are held up as role models because they appear on TV. And if you don't have a mental illness, then there must be something wrong with you. This is the earth we have today. This is the reversal of order. Gay marriage and transsexual children were thought unthinkable two decades ago and the thought that government authorities would facilitate this was not even a concept. It was beyond comprehension. Today we see people fight for and celebrating abortion and venereal diseases. The same applies to drug addiction and open borders. Although the self-hating and suicidal can be shown to be examples of pathological altruism, the fact is that the likes of virtue signalers, an example being Lily Allen, show themselves to be this most narcissistic, self-hating type of hypocrites. The only word I can accurately call these people are solopsis. People who truly believe they are God, that everything is their creation, that nothing is true and all is permitted based on their feelings. They believe themselves to be God and that the Old and New Testaments are based on their alleged virtues. The men of this psychotic narcissistic mental disorder believe themselves to be either Jehovah or Jesus Christ depending on their feelings at the time. The women believe themselves to be the Virgin Mary or Mary Magdalene, again depending on their feelings at the time. The circumstances which they encounter are irrelevant because they, as gods, pre-programmed them so as to bring forth feelings on which they enact on. And as they are supposedly gods, then no decision they make is good or evil, nor right or wrong. And the sooner their imagined creations accept and abide to their decisions, judgments, or feelings, then it may be possible for their creations to evolve beyond what they are now. As far as they are concerned, some creations have evolved and have been given autonomy, which the rest of us see in the likes of academia, intellectuals and indeed government, but as far as they are concerned we must evolve as a group. Hence, this is why we have groupthink. Nonetheless, whether it is called groupthink, animal magnetism or wetico, what we are seeing is a psychological virus causing a psychological illness and being transmitted by psychological means. Every nut job sees same people as mentally ill and yet sees other nut jobs as normal. Again, 
This is a reversal of order. You have people who believe they are God seeking to remold the order which they believe they have created. But we are not dealing with just a single person. We are dealing with a multiple of people because the Wetico virus continues to be transmitted and affects more people every day. Essentially, as a result of this animal magnetism, people reduce their status to that of subhuman. As they have discarded their divine God-given intelligence of truth, logic and fact, then the only thing they can base any judgment they make on it. Feelings, that's it. They base their judgments on feelings. And even then, that judgment is temporary. The reason why that judgment is temporary is because it is based on feelings, which can change at any given time due to random circumstances which they believe they programmed. As far as they are concerned, their life is a game which they will win and you are just there for the scenery. You are just there for a cameo role. Things like when or how you live and die are irrelevant to them unless you are an amusement. Any nation, society or civilization in which these sorts of people become domineering is destined to fall into chaos or ruin because Dysfunctional psychopaths like these base all their decisions and judgments on feelings and emotions which can change at any given time due to circumstances which they believe they have preordained randomly and yet have no control over. It may sound contradictory but they hold them as being simultaneously true due to their feelings. Nut jobs, psychopaths, are always competing against each other. As far as they are concerned, everybody must be like them and the means for achieving this is irrelevant. When groupthink has taken over the world, then all will be equal. But, as far as the virtue signaling psychopath is concerned, they are the first among equals, because they believe they are the king and they are the god. Much like building a snowman, you gather up all the snowflakes and mould them into a singular structure. They see themselves as the top hat on a snowman. Nothing or no one could ever be what they are. They believe they are greatness and perfection personified. So I will end this here. And I hope I have given you some explanation as to why things are as they are today.